How's it going, Arky Squad? I hope you guys are having a fantastic November. Anyways, for today's video, we are going to scour the internet far and wide. And by that, I mean we're just going to type into Google crappy architecture fails. And then we are going to react to this architectural fails. Here I go! So here we could see a door with the cutout to avoid the light. So I don't know why the contractor didn't think of just moving the light a little bit to the right. It's probably much easier than removing the door and then cutting it. Also, if the contractor was worrying about the light being off-center, you could have just bought a recessed lighting so that it would not hinder the door from opening. So if you're watching this contractor, this honor on your ancestors, this honor on your family. <laughs> Next, you can see this guy trying to rob this house. And there's no way he could go in there because everybody knows you can't step on the grass. That's not an option for him going around like so. Going over the fence is also not an option because look at those spikes, man. This pure danger. And then here we could see some sort of extreme locking mechanism. No one could ever decipher how to open that lock. So yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this post. Why is this here? It's not an engineering fail. It's an engineering win. Yeah, 100% burglar proof gateway next okay here we have two urinals side by side so yeah if you're one of those dudes that pee in two streams this is the urinal for you no need to worry about the other stream going to the floor instead it goes to another urinal so this is another win in my box <laughs> here we have a house with three balconies because everybody knows two balconies are for the poor people that's why he added another balcony even though no one could access it to show everybody in his neighborhood who is the richest man in the world so the neighbors of this guy probably oh dude look at his extra balcony such affluence even though he just has this crappy van right <laughs> okay i'm not gonna insult the dude's van let's move on okay so this next post is a fine example of reusing stuff for another intended purpose so here we could see a toilet that has been reused and transformed to live its second life as a lavatory or maybe it's a bidet also i could see that the pipe is a four inch pipe so yeah you could poop in this toilet no problem next i don't know what's more disturbing that the condenser of the aircon is inside the house or this picture of a dead dude also the heat that the aircon is just gonna dissipate is gonna go inside your house again so yeah but aside from that this thing is more disturbing okay now that is a throne my dudes that's one way to do your business so i'm guessing the reasoning why they placed this is because the floor was already done and they decided to convert this whole room into a toilet so the piping would be above the main floor line and they just decided to go crazy with the design they were like i want my head to hit the ceiling when i stand up from pooping so yeah that's what the client said to the architect <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking, man. Next! This is another fine example of not my job. Instead of just moving the clock to the right, they spent all the effort bending this copper tubing around the clock. Maybe the clock was fastened with some extreme fasteners or like some super space strength epoxy of some sort. Or you know, it's a sacred clock and there's some weird clock worshipping religion. That's why they can't move the clock to the right. Anyways, next post. Okay, I actually seen this building. I don't know where it is, but it looks like a huge toilet. I'm hoping for the sake of the architect that this is a toilet company or a toilet factory or any facility that has to do with toilets. Moving on. <laughs> That's like the world's first ever suicide. Let's move on. It's another suicide, my dudes. So you slide down, go inside this hole and enter that world where Mario goes into. You know, when you get inside the the pipe and then mario goes into this underground world thing i forgot what it's called but i used to do that a lot anyways let's move on have an extra long faucet for what what's the use of that faucet the hell here we have some stairs so this dude just probably followed the section and forgot to look at the floor plan <laughs> Ah, oh, that bridge is so useless, my dudes. But looks good though. Next. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure this is Photoshop. There's there's just no way that the College of Architecture and Planning would allow this to happen. But if you guys know where this place is and if it is real, comment down below where this is. Because I, I personally want to visit it and take a picture in this historic site where architecture and planning has failed. Okay, guys, so for those of you who may not know me, my name is... Leon Austria and I'm a professional architect from the Philippines and what that means is I passed architecture school went on to take the architecture licensure exams and then I passed that and got my license so yeah if some of you guys want to comment down below like who are you to judge architectural failures yeah I'm an architect so trust me and with that I guess I'm also going to end my video right here so if you guys like this sort of video that I'm doing don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below for more architecture videos from me your boy Leon I will see you guys on my next video flying peace <laughs>